Hey guys, Sonny Bryson here, and it's officially the end of November, so No Shave November is officially over, and I'm back to this face that I haven't seen in the past almost two years or so. But this video is all about target date funds. And by the way, yesterday I got an idea from Paul, a subscriber that said, basically, Tommy, I want a full video on how target funds work. So today I'm working on that. And by the way, in all of my comments, there is always a bot or a scammer responding. So usually if you don't see a check sign next to my name, that means that is not me. So ignore whatever they are saying. I will never tell you, give me your money let's invest with this random number or hacksaw or follow my ig at a random name the answer is that a hundred percent of the time is not me unless you have a check symbol next to my name but in this video we're going to go over every single detail about target date funds how they work what they are and if i recommend them or if i don't recommend them whatsoever now if you guys are new here i post videos every single day so you should also subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified on top of that also did destroying the like button and if I did not introduce myself my name is Tommy Bryson now the first thing I want to define is basically everything I'm gonna talk about in this video okay all of the definitions I hated being in high school or college and the teacher says hey we're talking about this today but they don't explain it and the whole class I'm like hey but what exactly does that mean so that's why I have to break down first what an index fund is what a mutual fund is and also what a target fund is that way Everything I'm saying in this video, you kind of can follow along because you know exactly what I'm actually talking about. Now, the first thing is basically a mutual fund, which is basically when investors pool in money and have a manager do either one or two things because there's basically only two types of mutual funds. You have actively held ones and also index based or passively held. Now, active based ones, they want to beat the market. So they grab investor money and this manager grabs all that money and tries to beat the market every single year. Now, stats show that, hey, they don't beat the market. On top of that, a lot of trading happens. So basically, a lot of fees, a lot of taxes. And on top of that, a little bit more risk because basically, they're trying to beat the market. But stats show that basically, they don't beat the market. So basically, it ends up being a lot more expensive with actively held mutual funds. And then you have, for example, index-based ones. Basically, all they wanna do is track whatever sector of the market they actually want to own. For example, if I wanna track the entire stock market, there's an index that owns every single stock in the stock market, and that way, I can get the same average performance of the stock market, because basically, I own the entire stock market, but there's no crazy trading going on. There is no crazy taxes because basically all we do is grab investor money and track that index and that is basically it. Now, to get a balanced index portfolio, you need to buy different types of index funds. For example, international, the bond market, the corporate bond market, um, the treasury bond market. Also, for example, the US stock market, you have to buy all the different sectors of the market to track it, but in reality, a target date fun takes away all of that work because basically a target date fund is a collection of mutual funds to create a portfolio that is based on your age and also when you plan to retire so overall that is all what these terms actually mean mutual funds actively held ones try to beat the market index based track the market target date funds a collection of indexes or sometimes even mutual funds to try to do whatever they want to do based on your age and based on when you actually want to retire that is all it is now i can talk about these things without you saying hey but what the heck is an index fund or what the heck is a target fund or what the heck is a mutual fund okay now the very first thing is this okay tommy what do you think about target date funds are they good or are they bad so to figure this out, we have to go through the pros and cons of a target date fund. So here are the pros and cons of a target date fund. The first thing is that, pro one, a target date fund is fully automated. Whenever you're investing, there are three things you want to worry about. Basically, hey, what is the allocation of this portfolio? Meaning, do you own 80% stocks? and 20% bonds, and why is that? Is it based on your age? Is it based on your risk tolerance? Why exactly do you wanna have more stocks than bonds? Usually, the younger you are, the more stocks you want, and the less bonds you actually want, because over time, stocks outperform bonds. We all understand that, but that's the first key to invest in. The second key is basically, you have to rebalance your portfolio every now and then, meaning that, 
over the next 18 months or two years or three years, your stocks might outperform your bonds or your bonds might do better than your stocks, very rarely. But the answer is, if you want a 80-20 target, 80% stocks, 20% bonds. But over the next three years, stocks are now at 95% and your bonds are only at around 5%. So now, how do you bring this back? The answer is you have to rebalance where you basically buy a lot more bonds or for example, sell some stocks to then go ahead and use that money to buy bonds and bring back things to 80% and 20%. That's the key idea. And on top of that, you have to take into account, hey, what is my age and how do I want to change my portfolio as I get closer to my retirement? Because basically, how you invest today in your 20s or 30s or 40s is not going to be the same as your 50s, 60s, and 70s, and sometimes even your 80s if you are blessed, okay? By the way, if you're 80 right now, that's awesome, congratulations. But the idea is, Tommy, why do you mention all this stuff? You have the target, you have the rebalancing, you have the age, all the stuff, because basically all of that work is taken care of by the target they fund, which means all you have to do is just grab your money and invest it, and that is basically the extent of how complicated a target date fund is. All you do is put in money, and they basically do all the work for you. As you get closer to retirement, they change your portfolio. That way, you carry a lot less risk. When your portfolio is way out of whack, for example, 90% stocks and 10% bonds, they go ahead and they rebalance for you automatically. So basically, it's like having your own manager that takes care of everything for you, and all you have to do is just give them the money, and then boom, they handle everything for you. And that is the big pro when it comes to owning a target date fun. Now, by the way, guys, when it comes to investing into a target day fund, whatever you want to invest into, I recommend investing no less than 10% every time you get paid, okay? That way, you invest automatically and don't worry about it, okay? That's the cool thing. Now, let's talk about the bad things when it comes to having a target date fund. The first bad thing is that basically, you don't have that much control because basically, everything is on autopilot and somebody else is taking care of every single decision that's being made about your portfolio. However, let's say it's um, the March um, 2020 pandemic and you're like, hey, my portfolio is down 20, 30%. I want to sell this and sell this and keep this. The answer is you can't do that because with a target date fund, it is for the long run. So you're not basically saying, hey, I want to change this right here, this right here. No, it's a portfolio based on your age and it only changes as you get closer to retirement. So it's all about holding on for the long term. So if you want to change things in the future and have more control, the answer is most likely a target date fund is not for you. And by the way, I 100% agree with how a target fund is actually ran. Because if people got the chance to sell things during pandemics and all that stuff, usually they would actually lose a ton of money by selling at the wrong time, most likely. Now, the second thing is basically target date funds can be very expensive depending on who you're actually investing with. For example, as I said before, a target day fund is usually made out of different mutual funds and also index funds, okay? That is all it basically is, a portfolio that is managed by somebody else. However, okay, the target date fund has its own fee between 0.10% all the way up to 0.96%. On top of that, the investments the target date fund actually holds are actually having their own fees also. So on top of having that 0.96% fee, you also have the other fees and that could add up anywhere from 1.96% all the way up to 2%. And by the way, 2% of your portfolio going to fees can cost you anywhere from 33% of your portfolio to even more because basically it might go up by around 7% every single year. 2% goes towards fees. 2% goes towards taxes, and 2% goes towards, hey, inflation. In reality, you're looking at, hey, all I have left is around 1% or 2%, meaning you're giving the company all the money just in fees. So usually, the lower the fees, the better it is, okay? But I did find a company that does a much better job when it comes to fees, and that's basically Vanguard. They only charge around 0.1% fee, and I actually called them in earlier to find out if they actually charge the underlying fees of the other assets, and here is what they said. Now, I told you guys I called Vanguard, and I did, and here is the proof right here. 
I've been on hold for like around 90 minutes and 35 seconds and in reality they're not answering just yet it might be because of the time and the date I'm actually calling in but in reality it's 1 p.m. it's a Monday it's supposed to answer at this time but overall guys okay I looked online about the fees and there is no information about basically Vanguard charging you the fees of the underlying expense so potentially they're not charging you that fee but I want you guys to also call in Vanguard on your own time and find out exactly if they're going to charge you the fee I don't believe they charge you that fee at all though and that is what I think based on the research I actually did but I can't confirm it 100% but overall compared to the entire market and what everybody has it at you're still going to save a ton of money by investing though with Vanguard because basically Vanguard has the lowest fees in the entire market okay so overall obviously Vanguard is most likely going to be the best option because basically they have the lowest fees and that way it does not cost you that much money in the long run up to 33% of your entire portfolio go into fees but with Vanguard it's not going to do that and that's why usually I recommend choosing Vanguard now step by step Tommy so far I know exactly what a target day fund is how it works the best things about it the worst things about it but how exactly do I go out there and invest into one okay step by step well the answer is this takes less than literally 30 seconds to actually do and that's why I'm gonna show you guys right now in this video and literally all you have to do is just go on Google and type in target date fun okay with Vanguard Vanguard and then boom and then click literally the first link by the way I spelled something wrong not like something stranger on this channel but right here okay just click the first link target day funds by Vanguard and right here shows you exactly what everything they do is all about for example how low risk it is how it's ran the fees and also how to do automated rebalancing like I told you guys before now let me zoom in right here just so I see everything right here but here are all the details about the fund and how it actually works but over here is the most important thing which is basically which target fund is going to be best for you now this is based exactly on your age and also when you're going to ask to retire so in this case okay how long until you retire 45 years 40 years 35 years 30 years 28 years or for example even 20 years now obviously I was born around 1997 which basically means I'm about 40 years from traditional retirement so if I were going to go ahead and invest into a targeted fund I would click this right here but before I do guys there's also target day funds if you're actually already in retirement or for example if you're only for example a few months or a few years from retirement so you don't have to be like really young or just really close to watch retirement that doesn't matter there is one for every single person out there so in this case okay I was born 1997 so let's click right here about 40 years to retirement traditionally and it'll show me exactly which target date fund is best for me and it's basically the Vanguard target date retirement fund for 2060 so in 40 years 2060 I get to retire according to traditional US retirement culture or whatever you actually want to call it and in this case okay the most important things you want to read is basically the product summary what it's all about and also exactly what the fees are going to be when it comes to this target date fund right here which is only around 0.15 percent and that is about it because basically it's around 68 percent lower than the average target fund out there and on top of that is going to cost me around a thousand dollars just to start investing with this entire target date funds so the minimum investment is around a thousand dollars to start investing into this target date fund right here but again it's not really that expensive only at around 0.15 percent okay and on top of that the price is around 42 dollars per share and the dividend yield is around 2.19 percent and the risk is around four percent because usually because i am so young they put me in a majority stocks and then also only around 10 percent into bonds so usually 90 percent stocks and 10 percent into bonds how old you are is going to change the way they actually invest for you but on top of that guys here are the investments they actually choose. Just go over here where it says portfolio and management, and it shows you down here again 90% stocks, 10% bonds, and then 82% short term reserves, okay? But overall, guys, here are all the investments they invest into on my behalf the total stock market, also the international stock market, also the bond market, and also the Vanguard Total International Bond investor shares and that is basically what i'm going to be investing into if i were to go ahead and buy 
a target date fund today okay so just go on vanguard and check out exactly what they would put your money into also now guys that is about it when it comes to target date funds and how they actually work do i recommend them the answer is if what you want is just to put your money away and invest it automatically target day funds are the best option for you if you don't really want to do any work whatsoever but if what you want to do is have a little bit more control and also save a little bit more money usually building your own portfolio of index funds is probably going to do exactly the same job and also cost a lot less money and that's why that is what i basically do today with my m1 finance portfolio now by the way guys if you want to see exactly how i invest well here it is right here this right here is my entire M1 Finance portfolio. And here is what I invest into. Basically, seven different funds that basically do exactly what I want to do. If you want to do exactly what I do, there's a link down below to M1 Finance, and that way you invest the same way I invest. But again, this is the exact same thing in a way as Vanguard, but it costs a lot less money. So for example, if I go here to research, and I click here, for example, my Acorns replica portfolio, in reality, here it is, okay, my expense ratio is only at around 0.07%, okay, which means I'm saving around 0.08%, and you might say, Tommy, well, you know, if you go with Vanguard, it's only 0.15%, but with you, it's 0.07% in reality, it might not seem like a big difference, but over the next 20 to 30 years, it is going to prove to be a massive difference. Now, by the way, you might also say, Tommy, but I don't want to manage my portfolio, I don't want to rebalance, I don't want to do any of the work well in reality with my entire m1 finance portfolio i no longer do that either okay because basically with m1 finance it does all the investing for you automatically and if you want to rebalance all you have to do is just click manage pie and click one button rebalance and then everything is exactly the way you actually want it so the point is okay if you want to do like no upfront work whatsoever. But if you don't mind setting this up for the next 10 minutes or so and then investing automatically for the rest of the long haul, the answer is I would probably go with M1 Finance and save around 0.08% and that way that's extra money in your pocket in the long run. And I'm always looking for ways to save money and that's why target day funds are pretty cool. But in reality, if you set up your own fund, it's actually gonna save you a ton more money also. And that's why I invest the way I invest, okay? But I highly still recommend target day funds if all you wanna do is let somebody else do all the work for you, which is perfectly fine. But also guys, comment down below and let me know if this video actually helped you and you actually learned something and you actually understand exactly what a target day fund is, how to invest into it, and if it's actually right for you or not right for you. Comment down below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video here, guys, well, like this video on top of that. Also, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified. And on top of that, if you wanna text me or talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, join my Patreon link down below or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And before I go, if you wanna see if full video on how I invest and why I invest the way I invest. Here's that video right here. I click my face right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and as always, peace.